again and welcome to another Preschool Praise. I'm so glad you can join me. How are you all? Well, today we've got a story and some songs and something to make. But we're going to begin by singing a song and clapping with Alana. And in this song, you can also make the noise of a trumpet. So you'll need to listen out carefully for when to do this. Hi. We're going to sing a song about our very good God who loves and cares for us. It's called Clap Your Hands. Now I'm sure you already know how to clap your hands, but just in case you don't, you take one hand and the other hand and you hit them together and they make a sound like this. Hang on. That's not right. Oh, there we go. Okay, how about you clap along with me? like that song and I hope you do too. Now let's have a look at these little figures. Who do you think they are and where are they going? Let's see, who might they be? Well they're a bride and a groom. And what about this person? She's a bridesmaid. So where are they going? Yes, you've guessed it, haven't you? They're at a wedding. They're at a wedding and look at them in all their special clothes because a wedding is a very special day. Now, have you ever been to a wedding? Maybe you've been a bridesmaid or a flower girl or a page boy and had to wear special clothes. Well, weddings are really special, happy days. And often after the marriage ceremony, there's a great big party for all the friends and family of the bride and the groom. And there's always lots of yummy food and drink. And often there's dancing. Well, there's a wedding in our true Bible story today. And Jesus and his friends have been invited. Let's see what happens. Jesus goes to a wedding. One day, Jesus along with Mary, his mother, and lots of his friends, were invited to a wedding. It was all very exciting, watching the bride and the groom be married. Jesus and all the guests congratulated the married couple. Then it was time for the big party. Everyone began to sing and dance. It was a wonderful, joyful party. They were all happy and having fun. After the dancing, they sat down for the delicious food and drink, and the tables were full of food. Jesus sat with Mary and his friends. 
After a while, Mary noticed something. All the servants who'd been giving out the food and wine had begun to look worried. There is no more wine, they told the groom. Oh no, it looked as though the party would be ruined. Then Mary had an idea. She went back to Jesus. They've run out of wine to drink, she told him. Mary knew that Jesus could help, and so she said to the servants, Please do whatever Jesus tells you to do. And Jesus asked the servants to fill six big jars with water. And when they'd filled the jars to the very top, he then told them to give the steward, that's the man in charge of the wedding servants, some of the water to taste. But what is Jesus doing? It's wine they need, not water. What will the steward say? But the servants did what Jesus said. They took a cup of water from the jars to the man in charge of the wedding. And do you know what happened next? Can you guess? When the steward drank it, he found that it wasn't water at all. It had changed into the very best wine. The party was going to be all right after all, because Jesus had turned the water into wine. Before we start today's song, we need to check we've got enough space because Jesus' love is so big. I think we're good to go. Are you ready? Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get round it. Oh, wonderful love. Should we try going really, really, really fast? Are you ready? Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Jesus' love is very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So low, you can't get under it. So wide, you can't get around it. Oh, wonderful love. Jesus turned water into wine. How incredible is that? No one else can do that. Only Jesus. Because Jesus has power from God, because Jesus is God's son. And he did this amazing thing, this miracle, because he wanted his friends to have a great wedding. He wanted to bring his friends joy. And Jesus loves us so much that he wants to bring us joy too. In fact, he loves us so much that he even died to save us from evil and bring us life forever so that we can have joy and celebration forever with Jesus our King. It'll be like a great big party. Isn't that exciting? So today we're going to say a praise prayer to Jesus. And when I say the word Jesus, we'll all say, you're amazing, and we'll punch the air. Should we have a quick practice on that? Jesus, you're amazing. Let's get ready to pray. Lord, you wanted to bring your friends joy. Jesus, you're amazing. And so you turned water into wine. Jesus, you're amazing. You want to bring us joy too. Jesus, you're amazing. And so you give us life forever with you. Jesus, you're amazing. Amen. 
And of course, Jesus can give us life forever with him because Jesus is alive forever. Hello, my name is Alana and welcome to my living room. We're going to sing a song together and it's called one, two, three, four, five. Jesus Christ is now alive. I think that you'll know the tune, so you should be able to sing along, but it would be good if you could do some actions as well. Now, I can't really do actions and play guitar at the same time. Hmm, what can we do about this? That's better. So follow me for the singing and follow me for the actions. Great, let's go. something to make and today we're going to make a wine goblet that's a bit like a wine glass and you're going to need some A4 size card. The first thing we have to do is cut a strip of card so a good way to do that is to take a ruler, draw a line lengthways, lost my pencil, there we are, down your card and cut that strip. So we'll do that first. There we are. Put the strip to one side and then we'll take our, our piece of A4 card and on here we're going to draw a simple goblet shape. So it just needs to be something like this. There we are, and then go along the top. And then you can decorate that. And once you've decorated it, you need to make two slits a little wider than your piece, your strip of card. So we'll put the strip of card on the top there and we'll put, we'll put some dots, one there, 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 there. Make a line like that and you're going to need to cut these. So I think you'll need the help of a grown up. I've got a, a craft knife here, so I'll just do them, do them quickly like that. You can use a pair of scissors. There. And then on our strip of paper, we need to put some colours. We need we need to have blue for the water so make a make a blue strip like that a blue patch on your strip of card like that and then i've got a red color for the wine so a bit further along make make a red patch there we are i'm just doing this very quickly you can do it much neater than me. And then what we're going to do is thread our strip of card through the slits. So you go in one and then down the other one and pull that through. Because then you can have the water 
which Jesus changed into wine. So there's the water and you pull the strip through and Jesus changed it into wine. And on here, we're going to write some words. We're going to write Jesus brings and then at the bottom joy Jesus brings joy because this will remind us that Jesus changed the water in the wine into wine he did this amazing thing because he wanted his friends to have a lovely wedding and we know that he also brings us joy too because he gives us life forever with him. So perhaps you'd like to make this this afternoon and maybe send in a picture of your wine goblet. You can email it to preschoolpraise at stmstm.org.uk because I live to see what you've been doing. So there we are, water into wine. And of course you can decorate yours and make it really pretty. Well, now we're going to sing our blessing song. So let's hold hands or link arms with the people in our house as we sing with Holly. everyone well I'm afraid that's all this time for this week but we'll be back again soon but remember you can always watch previous sessions and join in with your favorite songs and stories you've got a chance to watch them again so until next time take care everyone god bless you and bye bye